Hi, good afternoon. I'm Bishop Joel Brown. And I'm Pastor Tiffany Brown. Hey, we just wanted to come to you and give you some encouragement on today. We know that a lot is going on in this nation, but our God is still in control. And um, God did not abdicate the, bump, uh, the throne. He did not um, get caught unawares. He did not, you know, um, get surprised about the occurrences. So we just wanted to give you um, three ways to stay encouraged during this time. Um, one way to stay encouraged during this time is to... Um, uh, busy yourself with purpose. Busy yourself with purpose. I know it can be um, very easy and very convenient uh, to uh, go on YouTube. I really like YouTube myself. Personally, I'm a YouTube kind of guy. Um, some other other social media avenues is not really big for me um, or not as much, but I like YouTube because of the variety and because you could see a whole bunch of different things like that. But during this time, instead of focusing on entertainment, focusing on other types of media, um, find media that speak to your purpose, find media that speak to your soul, really look on getting involved in your purpose and doing things towards your purpose. Um, I'm in a couple of classes right now and it would be very, very easy because the online format because you know we're at home and um, we're we're limited in our movements um, for me not to do any work in those classes but I just have to make sure that I am still reading I'm still pursuing I'm still pressing I'm still thinking about what I'm going to do you know regarding um, writing and finishing a book that I'm working on I'm, I'm still I'm still focused on purpose my purpose did not take a back seat because of COVID-19 your purpose did not take a backseat right. because of COVID-19. Whatever God has sent you into this earth to do, he knew what was going to be happening at this time, and he still called you to do it. So still work on purpose during this time. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, the devil would try to tell you that life is over right now, that, you know, what's next is anything next. How are we going to make it from here? Are things just going to continue to go down and uh, into a spiral? But... God's word is true. God's word is true. And we believe God. He is a miracle worker. He is the same God who parted the Red Sea yes, so the children is. of Israel could go across. So he's the same God who's going to deliver us. I didn't say he might deliver us. I said he's going to deliver us from this COVID-19 and he's going to repair us to bring us back to where we should be. So yes. he is resetting this nation. Yes. He is resetting the globe and he is bringing us to another level of repentance all across yes. the world, all across yes. the world. So y'all, please, please get on your knees and repent. Come back to God. Yes, we got to do it. Amen. We got to do it. We have to turn from our wicked ways and seek God's face. And, you know, right now we really should be in the mindset. We really should be in um, focus right now of doing things the way that God would have it done. Um, you preached on Sunday to believe and obey. And right now that's what we really need to do. We really need to be about believing the word of God. Yes. If he gave us purpose and destiny, yes. we know he did. Jeremiah says he called us even before we were in our mother's womb. He knew yes. us. So there was purpose already established. Yes. So we need to not think about COVID-19 and all of the negativity that's coming from it. We need to say, God, you are in control. God, you are a healer. So the second thing we need to do is cast down every imagination and every high thing that would exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Yes. So everything, you know, you may have all of a sudden just a common cold cough that comes. And the very first thing the enemy would like to bring your way is, oh man, am I sick? Oh, is this over for me? Stand on the word of yes. God. Healing is the children's bread. Yes. Healing is the children's bread. Yes. Your finances. It's not over. It's yes. not over. God wants to give you what you said on Sunday, revelation and innovation to walk out this next season. Yes. God is preparing us for the next. So we're going to take what's happening right now and push forward in Christ to our next. It's not over, y'all. It's not over. And what um, uh, Pastor Tiff said is so very important. Um, I'm bringing every thought captive to the obedience of Jesus Christ. All those thoughts of anxiety, all those thoughts of, of, of fear, all those thoughts of unbelief, all those thoughts of um, what's going to happen next, all those thoughts of not even knowing what the future is going to look like. We don't know what even our summer is going to look like. We don't know what our fall is going to look like. But we have to bring all those thoughts captive. And I will tell you a secret. One way to help bring thoughts captive 
is if you have fewer thoughts in your mind to bring captive. What do I mean by that? Don't put so much stuff in your mind that's going to cause you to have to bring a hundred thoughts captive. You know, if there's only 10 things in your mind that you have to bring captive, that's so much better than a hundred thoughts that you have to bring captive. So then you have to be aware of what's fueling you. You have to be aware of what you're putting into your system. So that goes directly into number three, find yourself around your faith friends. Find yourself around your faith friends. I saw somebody post something on, 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 on Facebook and they said, if you have found yourself mentioning coronavirus or COVID-19 more than you've said Jesus this week, then you need to see who you're having conversations with. Wow. You need to find yourself around faith friends. Yeah, we have to remember the man who was lame and, you know, he didn't have the strength to believe on his own, but he had some wild, crazy faith friends who believed on his behalf and who stood. And some of you may not be able to connect at all and see your friends right now because of the stay at home order. But there are ways that we could stay connected with friends, with faith friends, even by texting, by phone, by uh, Zoom calls, by video. There are ways that we could stay connected with people of faith. We need to hear in this moment words of faith. We need to be encouraged in this moment. Don't stay down in the dumps. If you're down in the dumps, change it up to get recharged in God. And I'll say this, and I'll leave you with this. During this moment, stay accountable and stay vulnerable. Okay, I'm going to say that again. Stay accountable and stay vulnerable. What do I mean by that? Have some faith friends that if you're struggling with something, you're struggling with fear, you're struggling with anxiety, you say, Bishop, I'm trying to be strong like you. I'm trying to have faith like you, but I'm just not there. Find somebody that will pray with you that you can reveal yourself to to say, hey, I, I need your prayers. I need you to help me. If you're struggling, I'm going to I'm going to hit it hard. If you're on because people are on social media, if you're struggling with pornography or struggling with looking at something that you shouldn't look at, watching stuff that you shouldn't watch during this time, have a faith friend that can say that you can say, hey, I'm going to be accountable to you because I understand I'm in my house all day long. I understand I'm on the Internet all day long and there may be some things. So please help me pray with me. Help me to do some things. But find yourself some accountability partners. So these faith friends that are fueling you with this faith, they should also be people that can hold you accountable, people you can be vulnerable to. And remember that iron sharpens iron, iron sharpens iron. And also during this time, watch out for offense because this is my faith friend right here. Hey man, God bless you, baby. Nah, see, she didn't know I was going to kiss her, but she's my faith friend and God bless her for allowing me to kiss her own kid. <laughs> But she is my faith friend, but, but, but she sharpens me and I sharpen her. But when offense comes in or tries to come in between us, then we can't sharpen each other. We can't be vulnerable to each other. We can't be accountable to each other because I don't want to talk to her because I have an offense. So I got to, during this time, I have to let offenses go and I have to, I have to just go ahead and forgive quickly, forgive quickly during this time. So once again, to recap those three things, baby. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to say something okay, really quick ahead, yeah. uh, from what you were saying. Uh, we have to be smart. That's being smart. Don't just let things happen. We have to be smart because we know we don't fight against flesh and blood, but principalities, powers, and rulers of the darkness. And right now, we know that fear has been unleashed into the earth. Panic has been unleashed into the earth. So we know contention, strife, every evil work has also been unleashed. So as a people of God, we house the glory of God. Yes. Understand your purpose. Understand your identity and who you are, that we house the glory of God. So we can't open doors to offense. We can't open doors to unforgiveness. We have to stay filled with the glory and know that we are carriers. And even as we pray that darkness is being pushed yes. back, that is how COVID-19 is going to go through our prayers yes. with us praying and being glory carriers. The, the, the enemy can't stay in the glory. Uh -uh. Sickness can't stay in the glory. Uh -uh. It has to flee. It says, at the name of Jesus, yes. every knee shall bow. Yes. Yes. Every tongue shall yes. confess yes. that he is Lord. At the name of Jesus, yes. every sickness has to bow. Yes. Lack has to bow. Yes. Contention, strife, and every evil work, it has yes. to bow. Yes. And so lift up the name of Jesus yes. and keep every door to the demonic, to darkness closed. Yes. Amen. And know that we win. 
We win. We coming out of this. We win, baby. We are coming we out win. of this. Yes, I believe that. We are coming out of this. Yes, so we're we coming out of this stronger than what we went in. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. This is the church's finest hour. This is the church's finest hour. So three things, once again, stay focused on purpose and do work in purpose. Number two, bring every thought captive to the obedience of Jesus Christ. And then number three, stay around your faith friends and let your faith friends fuel you as opposed to fear fueling you. God bless you. We love you. And keep the faith. Keep the faith. Love y'all.